So I have my new iPhone X, and it actually came in a couple days ago, but I'm just taking it out of the box now because I knew I wanted to film this video. So right now I'm at the Face ID part. So I'm gonna hit continue. How to set up Face ID, first position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. Oh, just one time, slowly. Okay, Face ID is now set up. Continue. So today I'm gonna to be using the Graftobian Foundation. Next I'm gonna be going in with my Graftobian Concealer Palette. I'm gonna use the darker color first, right here underneath my eyes. So I need some extra coverage to cover any blueness that shows through. And then I'm gonna use one of the lighter colors just to start the contour on my nose. And taking that all the way out to highlight my cheekbones. And then just going back in with the foundation brush to buff that all in. Next I'm gonna be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. And just taking that contour color on my cheekbones on my forehead and down the sides of my nose and I'm also going to be putting some contour color underneath my lip and right here on the side. Just a little trick I do to make my lips appear fuller, like I have some lip injections. And again, just blending everything out. My contour always just blend it in an upwards motion that so you don't want to pull your cheekbone down you want to lift it up so up 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 and for your forehead you just want to bring it right back right into your hairline and for my nose contour I don't really want to use this big brush oh, I'm just gonna use my fingers today I put a lot of product on I want to make sure the center stays nice and light. It's really only on the sides. So next I'm going to be going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to be doing like a light dusting of that over my whole face. Just to set all of the cream products. Before they move around. And now for powder, bronzer, and contour. I'm going to be bronzing with the Benefit Hula and then contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. So first with Hula, just bronzing up my cheekbones. I'm going to do a lot of my forehead. And then I also do like my neck and like right under my chin. Just make sure everything blends good. My neck is actually pretty tan right now because I'm spray tanned. And now switching over to the contour kit and a smaller brush. I'm using the middle bottom shade and just really using that to create a shadow and carve out my cheekbones. And add a little bit of that on my forehead too. And then switching to an eyeshadow brush and just going over my nose contour. Now I'm going to be going in, back in with some more RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just going to use this beauty blender right here. And just going to be baking my under eyes. And cleaning up my contour. So I'm just gonna let that sit there while I move on to my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, first I'm going to be priming my eyelids with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And then just using a brush to kind of blend that out. And then dipping back into that no color powder. And just setting that concealer. 
I feel bad because if you just watched my last video with the um, Huda Beauty palette, it did affect my foundation routine and it's literally the same because it's only like two days apart. So I feel like I should just film like eyeshadow looks for the most part because that's always different and only film like a foundation routine like once a month or something when I tried enough new products and like updated the routine. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty palette again as well just because there's so many colors in here that I really haven't got to play with yet and it's so pretty that I kind of always gravitate towards the same ones. But anyway, first I'm gonna start off using Musk as a transition. I'm just gonna use the same brush because it's nice and fluffy. I think I've used Eden every single time I've used this palette as my transition shade. Because I normally like a little bit more orangey and warm. But we'll go cool toned on this. Um, so next I'm going to Oud. Is that Oud? I'm not sure. I'm just putting that right in my crease, kind of just working it in a V motion up into the crease and down onto my lash line, up onto the crease, down onto the lash line. And once I'm done applying that dark brown color, just going back in with a little bit more of that transition shade. Today I'm going to use the shade Turkish Delight and then maybe apply some of the sparkles from Cosmo on top. But first I'm going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just shape out exactly where I want that color to go. This eye, I just take it up a little bit further just to even out the symmetry in my eyes. Open this eye up a little bit. Now I want to deepen up my um, outer portion of my eye a little bit more and there isn't any darker color in this palette so I'm just going to be switching back to the rose gold palette. And I'm just gonna be picking up a little bit of that black color. And I'm just taking that black truffle color just on the lid, not bringing it up to the crease. Now for the bottom, I'm gonna be picking up that dark brown oud color and just carrying that on the bottom portion of the outer portion of my bottom lid and then switching back to the transition brush in that transition color. And just running that over my whole bottom lash line. Now for liner, I'm gonna be using my favorite liner, which is the NYC Liquid Liner. And first just lining my lash line, and then next drawing the wing. And then connecting the two, and just filling that in. So I just leaned forward to look at the mirror I have on my desk to um, do my other eye off camera and I leaned into a whole bunch of makeup so I had to change my shirt. But carrying on, um, now I'm gonna put on a light coat of mascara and then apply my false lashes. For lashes, I always use my clear duo glue and just apply a layer on each lash so they have a minute to like wait while you're putting glue on the other lash. And then I just pull from up to down while looking down into a mirror so I can see my top lash line pretty well and stick it on the outside and then on the inside. 
Wow, and these lashes are so pretty. These lashes are from Lash Kitty, by the way, when I just do in the box. Next, I'm gonna be low, um, lining my lower lash line with my Inglot Gel Liner. Now I'm gonna be brushing away all of the excess powder that I have on my face. And next, I'm just going to be dipping into um, saf saffron or saffron um, in the Huda palette just because I want to tie in that like burgundy color on the top on my bottom lid, but I don't want to use a shimmer on my bottom lid. So if you have like little lines and little wrinkles in there, any kind of shimmer color is really just going to show them off even more. And then I'm just going to take this color and run it under like the middle part of my eye and then drag whatever's left on the brush out to blend on the sides. I really like how that looks. And then now I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more mascara. I'm using the Ready to Wear Beauty Mascara. For a lip color today, I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid Suede in Club Hopper. This is like my trick that I always end up doing. Makes your lips look bigger too if you have a lighter color on the inside and then the darker on the outside. So I'm just gonna put like a nudish color on the inside of my lips and it's just gonna make this a lot more wearable. So I grabbed this um, liquid lipstick. It is also NYX and it looks like it's kind of like the same like um, suede finish but this was from the Love Out Loud collection and this is the shade Confident. And I don't want to ruin the applicator with like the dark color, so I'm just going to take some of the product off the applicator and just dab it on my lips. So I already like it more, but it looks like I have like a really dark lip liner on with nude lipstick and we can't have that. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of this darker color and warm up the sides so it's more of an ombre rather than like a lip liner look. Now just a little too like cool toned or purple. So now I'm gonna go in also with NYX Cosmetics in the shade Alabama, it's a lipstick. And I'm just gonna dab on some of this red because I wanted it to be more of like a rusty red, like a really great fall color. Okay, so believe it or not, that is exactly the color I wanted. It's pretty much back to that um, original Club Hopper shade. It just has just a little bit more wearable for me. I don't know, we just added a little dimension in it. And um, definitely like the red undertones gives me like that more of a fall holiday look that I wanted. Yeah, just a little softer and a little bit more wearable for me. Also, my skin's so light right now, I think that has something to do with it. I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer from the contour palette. And then we'll highlight and we'll be done. For highlight today, I'm gonna be using the Glow Kit and I'm gonna be using the shade Tourmaline. Tourmaline? I don't know why I can't pronounce any makeup shade anymore at all. All right, so that's it for this makeup look today. So now getting my um, new iPhone X and I just got a little shake. Does that mean it didn't recognize me? I got a shake again. Look. I won't focus. It just worked. <gasps> I didn't hit that button. Okay. It just worked. Let's swipe up to unlock. 
Wow! So it really didn't recognize me for like a couple seconds or something was wrong, but it ended up recognizing me, so I guess their facial recognition is really good. Let's try again. This is too fun. It worked. All right, one more time. It worked. Okay, so good job, Apple. <laughs> I really thought that it just, it wasn't going to recognize me because I just look completely different with makeup and without. But comment below if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you also have purchased the iPhone X and if you have tried to um, use facial recognition with and without your makeup on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Now let's see how this portrait mode works. too much contrast for studio light they should just apple i hope you're listening they should just um put like a flashlight on the front and shine that extra flashlight on you contour light looks just like studio light i don't like it natural it is all right let's see how those look God, contour light is too much. Come on. One more. What else we got here? Studio light, contour light, stage light. And lastly, stage light mono. Oh wow, stage light makes the background all black. It like cuts you out. Well, that's freaky. Alright, the natural light portrait mode is pretty cool though.